So for Milo's birthday, we are heading down to Columbus. Columbus. Making our way up from Cleveland down to Columbus. There's a restaurant, uh, Satan's Realm, that we both really like, that we stop a lot on our way to and from uh, Kings Island a lot. And then there's also a place called Scene 75. I don't know how many cities have them. We have one up kind of near us, but ours isn't as good because ours doesn't have a roller coaster. This one has what, a giga, a 300 foot? It has a 500 foot it has a, T Rex. Yeah, this one, this is the 500 foot T Rex. It's called Scene 75. So I bet you guys can't wait to see that one. made it here to Columbus. We're about to go into Satan's realm. It's a little like, uh, it's like a horror theme. They have a lot of, uh, what, Michael Myers and a lot of horror posters and masks and stuff. But well, it's an all vegan diner and it's one of our favorite places. But there's some bad news because it says, sorry, we're open. So I don't know what to do. Very bad news. And Milo got a very special t-shirt for his birthday. Satan's Realm, Vegan Deli. You like it? I like it. So you got the, what, Buffy Mac? I got a Buffy Mac. Okay. Which is like a vegan chicken sandwich and With vegan- mac and cheese on it. And um, you're in my ranch, buffalo sauce, pickles, lettuce, all that stuff. Anyway. And then some wings, BBQ wings. Yeah, Sat Satan wings and I got the um, Italian stallion, which is the is the pepperoni and ham, lettuce, tomato, banana peppers, Italian. We got a bunch of it's Saturday, so I guess they do a brunch on Saturdays. We got some some donuts. All right, we have arrived. Scene seventy five Entertainment Center. This place is supposed to be huge, and I guess you can't see the top of the T Rex. The building is blocking it, right? Yeah. So these are the same as like what what Waldemir has? Yeah, there's like right? there's Does, a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. What? Who's it made by? S S B F S. Yeah. I think some, I think some scene seventy fives have a. Uh, a back a back car that's like a hamster wheel and spins that's that's on really? site like it's like you spin like a hamster wheel but this one obviously doesn't have that You might you might think that this is slow motion, but it's not. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But we're on the second floor, and apparently well, that, that, they had a drop tower at, uh, at uh, Nickelodeon Universe, and that was indoors, and that was pretty oh, tall. That was, that was a lot taller than this, yeah. You're correct, oh, there it goes. Over 
here we got laser tag, laser maze. So right now we're just walking around seeing everything and then we'll definitely ride the roller coaster and figure out what else we want to do. What all, what all are you eyeing? What do you want to do? We're about to go downstairs, but that's the up. So we need to go all the way around now. All the way. It's such a long way. I know they have bumper cars here somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where. It's a big place, so yeah. We're walking around seeing everything. It's, it's attached to a mall, so this was probably like a department store or something. This was probably like a Sears or something like that before it turned into something like this. I don't know, I've never been, never been to this mall before. I like, never came down here to this. Oh, we found their, uh, found their bumper cars. They're like, if you've ever been down here in Columbus, Zombie, well, it's Zumbizi Bay. It's part of the Columbus Zoo, kind of. But we've been there for their Halloween event, Zombizi Bay. But they have bumper cars kind of like this not really traditional looking bumper cars. They're a lot of fun. Very fun. And it looks like this one has like lights and probably like music and stuff too. I see mostly spinning, not a lot of bumping. This is their dark ride, their 4D dark ride. Look, they have a dark ride in Cedar Point, does it? They got this thing that kills little kids. I've done this before at a different place, and I like couldn't walk for a little while after. <laughs> so it hurt you? It, yeah, and I it, it, I couldn't walk. I like lived for like a couple days after. So like these are these are no these are no good. Oh, there, there it goes. I want, to see, I want to see kids get hit in the head. Don't stop it till every kid is down. All right, so we decided what we're gonna do. He, he said uh, drop tower and um, coaster. coaster and then mini golf. Yes. Putt putt. I love putt putt. Putt putt is like the best thing I've ever and it's really funny we're, we're walking up and we're looking at the little board that has all the prices and all the things there are to do and we saw people walking by with like coaster t-shirts on and stuff I, and I was like oh my god there are coaster nerds here too I'm like this is crazy and so we stopped to talk to them and we reckon, like, recognized a couple of them from some parks that we've ran into them like Cedar Point, Kings Island and stuff so it's funny just like randomly running into other like coaster enthusiasts that come here for like a little fix. So we know it's not just us. All right, we have our Scene 75 card. We just got enough to do the drop tower putt-putt, which he loves his some, himself some putt-putt and the coaster. So we're just gonna do these three things. First stop is the drop tower. This is my first ever drop tower. What do you think? I think I'm gonna be scared. Uh, yeah. All right, everybody. Congratulations to me. I just rode my first drop tower. Woo! And it was a really fun one. That thing is fun. I gotta say, like it's tiny, so that means I'm not too scared. But it bounces you around. Yeah, and your stomach like it drops a lot. Like if, like if you if you like that stomach dropping feeling, then you would love this because. It does a lot. I gotta say, more drop towers need to only be like 20 feet tall, and then I would ride them all because that's the best. Yeah. When you get into these drop towers that are like, like 300 feet tall, that's too scary for me.
Milo hard at work adding up numbers. But it's both 27, so we both we both got 27. It was a tie. It was a tie. After all that, after all this cheating, he can only come out with a tie. He cheated because he put the ball in the hole the one time. No, it got stuck. I had to do something with it. So that means the tiebreaker is rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win both. Okay, tiebreaker is rock, paper, scissors. Okay, it is new credit time. This, this will put me at 194, I think. 194, 194 credits. And I'll be at what, 166 or I seven? Know, something, because I read more coaches than you. Who, them? The people that are watching? He's saying everyone. he's read more coasters everyone. than you guys. No, you, and you, everyone. So this is a new, a new credit, even though it's a clone of Waldemere. We've only ridden one of these, right? Yeah. At Waldemere. We did the nuclear rush coaster. It's a, uh, what did we say before? It's a uh, Visa SBF Visa spinner. SBF spinner. And uh, we did a lot of fun. Did you, you like it? Uh, it hurt me. Because, and I remember the one at Waldemere hurt me because the seats are hard plastic and they're like that wide and I'm not that wide. So it uh, definitely, definitely squeezed me in there and hurt me. They are a lot of fun. You go through a lot of- You go through at go least through like six or like six, five or six times more, at least. More, maybe, I don't know. It, it's really, they're, they're really fun. So all in all, what are we saying about this place? I really like it. I think it's a lot of fun. It's a really big place. So you can spend a lot of time in here. There's a lot of stuff to do. I think I really like it. Highly recommend. You spend a lot of time just like walking around too and looking yeah, at definitely. stuff. And There's a lot to look at. There's a bunch of these. It's not just this one in Columbus. Uh, there's one there's, in Dayton. There's one in Dayton. One in Brunswick, Ohio, which is up by us in Cleveland. There's like one in Chicago, I think. So there, there's there's a handful around. Yeah, you might live by one, and if you do, definitely check it out because they're a lot of fun. Seed 75. We saw a big sign about something with Ayapa. <laughs> like they were voted at, at Ayapa as like, a, like one of the best family, family entertainment centers. Yeah. All right, so that's it. This was his little birthday trip, like mm -hmm. I said earlier. This is, um, we're, we still got another stop. We're gonna go hang out at Ikea yeah. or something. So we're gonna add more great. to it. But that's it for this video. We're gonna cut this off right here. So signing off from Columbus, Ohio, scene 75. Highly it's recommend. his birthday. So drop in the comments a good old happy birthday to this fella right here. It's not my birthday yet, but when for you turning see it, big, it will be. Yeah, today isn't his birthday. Yeah, but, but this, this will be out, this will be released on his birthday. Mm -hmm. So drop comments down below and say happy birthday. And we'll see you guys next time on Beach Club Studios.